Hi kid and welcome to the most monstrous trip you will ever take. Wah! Do you know what this means? When storyteller wears those gloves? Tell them what it means, Green Bear. It means she means business. Monster reading business! Fish bump. That's right. Ten little monsters visit New York City and we are dressed for the occasion. Let's see. Greetings from New York City. Why, they sent a postcard and everything. How lovely. And is that, is that a picture of a hot dog and a cacti? Well, this is a very interesting group of monsters going on vacation together. Ten little monsters head to the east. The Big Apple sounds like a tasty feast. Ten little monsters pack and get dressed. It's New York City that they love the best. And in fine print it says, New York City's nickname, The Big Apple, comes likely from horse racing commentaries by writer Fitzgerald in the 1920s. But if you visit New York City today, we recommend eating big pizza, big cheesecake, big bagels, big hot dogs, in fact, almost anything but big apples. True, true story. You never hear about eating the world famous New York City apple. Ten little monsters out on vacation wander around Grand Central Station. The crowds move in, the subways move out, but one little monster can't get about. <gasps> Fine little print that you can't read, but I will. Over 750,000 people pass through Grand Central Station each day. If you're going to be one of them, it's best not to arrive in a ceramic pot. See, this book is full of helpful hints for the traveler, especially the monster traveler. Nine little monsters step out of the dark and into the greens of Central Park. Walkers and jugglers make this park the best, so one little monster starts building a nest. With over 26,000 trees, Central Park offers plenty of scenic locations for monster nests. Should it seem a bit crowded in summers, just remember how much you're saving in rent. And that is actually incredibly accurate. Mr. Jess Smart Smiley, you author, smart advice, smart. Somebody really has been to New York here. Eight little monsters brave the blue and the Statue of Liberty comes into view. Up and down the ferry sails till one little monster falls in with the whales. Oops. For years, the Statue of Liberty welcomed boatloads of immigrants arriving in New York City, monsters and otherwise. Today, it is a worldwide icon of freedom! And, oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful swimming monster. Looks like he found freedom under the sea in the Hudson. Seven little monsters visit Times Square. Colored lights are everywhere. One little monster inspects the light. New York makes him glow so bright, attracting tens of millions of visitors every year. Times Square is one of the world's most visited attractions. Tourists flock to see its signs, lights, shows, shops, and most recently, its glowing monsters. Everyone got a hand for New York's glowing monsters. Yes, indeed, they light up the night sky even more than the Broadway signs. Six little monsters look in each hall. The Museum of Modern Art has it all. A crowd starts to form. This art is inspired. One little monster loves being admired. The Museum of Modern Art has collected over 200,000 works of art. If you stand still for long enough, you might make it to 200,001, like the Blob Monster. That's right. They are their own kind of living masterpiece. Five little monsters discover a mystery inside the Museum of Natural History. One little monster thinks that he knows, but that little monster gets a little too close. I see we're losing monsters at every stop along the way. The Museum of Natural History has exhibits on Earth, science, space, dinosaurs, history, oceans, everything it seems except monsters except now there is a monster inside the dinosaur so monsters are included too well we're losing them four little monsters are excited to enter the towering rockefeller center three four little oh no three little monsters get tired of waiting but one little monster can't stop skating oh 
he's doing the ice skating rink because it is the holidays. In the winter, Rockefeller Center hosts a giant Christmas tree and ice skating rink. People come from all over the country to see the tree. Monsters just come to skate, show off their moves. Three little monsters take a look at Strand Bookstores, miles and miles of books. One little monster soon finds herself stuck at the top of a very high shelf. Funny, she doesn't look stuck, she looks quite happy there. Nestled in for a while, the Strand has over 18 miles of books for browsing, looking and buying, but not for climbing, unless you're that girl. And frankly, with so many miles and miles of books at the Strand, nobody will ever spot her. Two little monsters up in the clouds. The Empire State Building is far from the crowds. One monster feels sick, that one, but one feels great. You can't beat this view! I'm on top of the state! The Empire State Building offers outstanding views of the city. It's also struck by lightning about 23 times per year. Even monsters know not to stay up there during a thunderstorm. Unless you're, of course, a lightning monster. In which case, those rules do not apply to you. <gasps> oh, do we just have this one lonely little monster who was feeling a little sick up at the Empire State Building? Look at that face. You know, I thought he would have picked up a little I Heart New York City shirt by now, but he's probably still have souvenir shopping in, later in the agenda. One little monster feeling blue sings to herself and the pigeons too. Broadway fills with eight million cheers and in the roar of applause she disappears. Where did they all go? Oh, where else, wherever they went, I guess they had a meeting point. <laughs> I guess they had a meeting point. Oh, because they're back together again. And look, look, they did make it to the souvenir shop. I heart New York. And, yep, they took a bite out of the Big Apple. So that was, oh, did I tell you? Did I tell you it was going to be a monstrous trip to New York? Yeah! Who, who called a taxi? <laughs> White rat. Ugh, oh, this New York City book. Got me in the mood for pizza. It's been forever since I've had a good slice off, off of the subway floor. Nothing like the special subway flavor. Let's go! Yeah. Well, there you have it. You can go to New York City with 10 little monsters or one little rat. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Storytime.